Kai Tribe. This is probably going to be the video where my family says, okay, she's really lost her mind. But I don't care. I'd rather be known as the crazy person than the normal person. Because normal these days is kind of scary. So I'm, sh I'm really sharing my experience with feline beings because other people are sharing their experiences and now I don't feel so alone or crazy about it. Um, so I've loved cats my entire life. I, um, I'm, I'm totally a cat person. I loved Thundercats. I loved Catwoman. I loved Holly Berry's Catwoman. Um, a lot of people think that that was whack, but I was totally into it. I loved Egypt. Bastet is one of the the cat goddesses of well not cat well feline goddesses of Egypt and she's always been very very helpful in my life so has Sekhmet. Um, but more recently I was um, introduced to a new spirit guide is what he called himself and his name was his name is Emmanuel and he is a white tiger being. And I was meditating one day, not really meditating, I was kind of like sitting um, next to my favorite tree, um, closing my eyes and just being in, in stillness and in silence. I don't know if it was called meditation or whatever, but I had been asking for, and praying for, sending energy for light beings, benevolent light beings who are here to help beings on this planet and the ascension process and all of a sudden this um this flash this image of this white tiger a huge white tiger came right to my mind and it wasn't scary but it was just kind of like right there <laughs> my eyes were closed um so Later on that day, or at night, I was curious about it. So before I went to sleep, I said, okay, so who are you? What's your name? And so in a dream, no, I don't even think I was dreaming. I think it just came to me. He said his name is Emmanuel, and that's all he said. Like, he didn't really talk very much. But anyway, um, I think the, the next weekend or something, I was going... Um, um, out of town and to uh, and I was going by myself I was taking a bus um, a couple of hours away but I was going by myself and so I was asking for my guides to just hang out with me just for, as a safety precaution or whatever and then so he flashed into my mind again but this time it wasn't just a flash in my mind this time I could actually feel him next to me he was on my left side and he's very serious and he's very um elegant and um god you know what he kind of reminds me of like leos like leos are really like majestic there's a word very majestic and um so that so he i really appreciate him because he's like loud <laughs> like when he's trying to get my attention I don't want to really say loud but he's very obvious whenever I ask for help or whenever I'm feeling any kind of fear or whenever I just say hey I need a little bit of can you just like come and just hang out with me if I'm feeling a little bit unsafe or whatever and he immediately comes and he just kind of stands and he walks with me or sometimes I'll see him like in the distance um and he just like just randomly shows up sometimes and I absolutely love it because it's so um much more obvious to me than previous spirit guides that I've known and I just saw this video Gigi Young and she was talking about lion beings and she said that lion beings usually come when you're asking for, or when you need assistance with confidence with courage with fearlessness um, and that they're also great protectors, and that's true. I feel so safe when he's around. Um, so I was definitely in a space of feeling very much, um, I kind of had like low self-esteem and my confidence level was really low. Um, I did need a, a push with courage and fearlessness. So it's me, me praying about, you know, about these things I think is what manifested 
I, I was also very um, persistent in my prayers um, about asking or asking for light beings, beings of light, to come and assist me. The other thing was um, leadership. They have this quality of like leadership. Um, and that's kind of something that I've been just recently called into and I don't consider myself a leader at all, but let's, we'll just see where that goes. Um, I also have another, um, kitten friend and this story, um, starts with Ishel. Ishel is a Mayan goddess and this goddess I have been communicating with for, well, probably about a year and a half now. So we're pretty close now. She's so super cool, um, but I got a new spirit guide, and it was a jaguar, and so I was dreaming, and I all of a sudden became lucid in my dream, and in this dream, I was like in a forest, and all of a sudden, this huge jaguar started following me, so my first reaction was fear. I became lucid right there, and I was like, holy shit, this... I'm about to get eaten. So I started walking a little bit faster. And then the jaguar started walking a little bit faster behind me. And then I was like, I'm going to climb this tree. I started climbing a tree. And then the jaguar climbed up right behind me. And then for some reason, I, I, I started not being so afraid. And so the jaguar actually came really close to me. So close where I could actually touch her on her head. And I did. And she just kind of like snuggled up against me on my right side. I remember it. And she was so sweet. She was, she is like, um, almost like a, not a baby, but past kitten stage, but kind of like in the middle, not really all the way an adult jaguar, but like in the middle, super, super sweet, super playful. Um, so then the next day in my meditation with Ishel, Ishel, the first thing Ishel, um, asked me um when I see her is so did you meet your new um spirit guide and I'm like who and there comes kitty that's her name that's the name that I've given her They're like there comes kitty right behind Ishel and I'm like oh yes and thank you so much at that time that's when I realized Ishel was the one who sent kitty to me so her her name is not Kitty. Her name is some is some really intricate tone like Sa Ba or something really interesting like that. When she told me, I was like, um, that's cool. Can I just call you Kitty? Because that's kind of complicated for me and my limited language capabilities. So she was like, yeah, that's cool. So Kitty is totally playful. I love her. She is a great protector too. She hangs out with me whenever I call her. She's very playful. As compared to like Emmanuel, Emmanuel is so serious and like so, you know, <laughs> the difference is really, it's a really good balance. It's a really nice balance. Um, uh, yeah, I think that that's all that I wanted to share, but I, I really just wanted to share these, these feline being experiences because I'm not the only one going through this and experiencing this and now I feel like okay this is not just my imagination this is not me losing my mind this is actually really happening and I'm so grateful so grateful for these beings coming when I ask for help and still being with me right now in this time because they really are amazing and there's so much help out there that we have and we just we we don't know because our minds are so limited in the things that we believe like let go of some all of your belief systems open your minds to the possibilities and yeah ask for help they listen these light beings and these beings from other dimensions and other planets and star systems they hear you um they can't come in and help unless you specifically request their help. So, alright, peace.